the weather has been so sucky, so much rain, so much wind, multiple big storms, there's another one on the way, so we're both just trying to make the best of it being dry this morning while we can. That includes Kate, who's working on a project for In The House. So yes, you can actually see an extra, it's actually an extra one green stuck. We'll come to that in a second. But like I say, we've been in and out trying to beat the weather this week. And for a sunny, dry moment, I managed to get some of the peppers potted up. And it was really interesting to see the difference between the ones that are grown on in the house with heat and light versus the two sets in the greenhouse. One has heat, one has no heat, but they're both just using the natural light that we have. Remember that experiment? We've got my peppers that I'm keeping indoors in the house, all toasty and warm with grow lights. And we've got the peppers that are in the greenhouse. They're inside a heated propagator. So they've got a degree of warmth. No grow lights, just natural light. And then, there's the ones that are in the greenhouse with no additional heat, but all the light that's in the greenhouse. Now the thing is, I'm looking at these guys that are in the house and they've been nipped out, so they've been topped. Hence, all this new growth is appearing here on all of them, but also it's time to pot them on because the roots are coming through the bottom. So I thought this would be a fantastic opportunity to have a look and compare. So these were also topped or the grown tips were nipped out. There are buds starting to appear in the crooks of the leaves in the stem, but they're nowhere near as far on as these. And there is the beginnings the smallest hint of roots coming through the bottom of the pot. Now that, that I've just shown you, those are the ones that have been in the heated propagator. These ones have just been out in the greenhouse. <sighs> There's a little bit of new growth. You can see small, small buds. There is no hint of roots coming through. Yeah, you can tell it's a bit windy today. Um, so yeah, so definitely there's a difference. Given all of these plants were grown from seed on the same day, sown on the same day, they were all brought on in their early days in the house under grow lights. And there's just quite a considerable difference between the three between the ones from the house and the ones that are in the greenhouse there is a remarkable difference between the ones that are in the house and the ones that are in the greenhouse but in a heated propagator there's still a bit of a difference but again there's quite a difference between the two from the greenhouse the ones that are in a more sheltered heated environment versus the ones that aren't And if I come in close, you can see it's just not happy. I've just watered them, so they're dripping, but you can see the curled leaves, just the signs of stress and next to no growth on the stem. It just shows you it really does stall them being in the cold. So this is the story of three Steves. This is the Steve who has been in the house. The big thing you're gonna notice is just look at the amount of new growth. And as I said, there are roots starting to come through the bottom. This is a Steve that's been in the greenhouse in the heated propagator. So you can see there are some buds, little bit of new growth, very, very, small suggestion there might be some roots coming through.
This is the Steve that is just out in the greenhouse with no heat. He does have buds. They're not quite as far on as these ones. And not as much of a suggestion of roots. Little bit there, little bit there. Just for fun, we'll do the same thing. It's just a different variety. So this is the Orange Horizons. I think this is the most remarkable difference. So from the one in the house, tall, straight, strong, new growth. The one in the heated propagator, still strong and tall, tiny bit of new growth, as you can see. But you'll see it's got some of these leaves that are turned over. Now this isn't just the wind on this one. That's a sign of stress in the pepper plants. Not really anything there. This is the one from the greenhouse that has no heat at all. You can see it's just deformed leaves, curled leaves, generally a lot smaller. Next to no growth at all. There's tiny buds, that's all. Really stalled this one. So this and this one. These are Cali Golden Wonder, the ones that were grown indoors in the house. That's the same one, but it's been grown in the Vitapod, so it's been in the greenhouse with a bit of heat. Look at the difference in the colour of the leaves. So this dark is good, that means it's, it's coping well with light. It's also got a waxy coating on it, so that's good. Here's the difference. Quite a lot of new growth on this one. Not so much on these. That's interesting. Possibly because of the flowers. <laughs> okay, here's a big difference for you. This is the orange horizon pepper that has been in the greenhouse. No protection from the elements, it's just in the greenhouse. This is the one that's in the house. Look at the difference in size. It's craziness. Same again, on the right, we have the little guy that's been in the greenhouse with no protection. And these are the peppers that were brought on in the house. Just again, the size. And of course, finally planting out. We're into April. There are things I can actually plant in my garden. So I've got out loads of lettuce. So there is no longer a wall of lettuce in the, in the greenhouse. You're seriously, you're choosing the best lettuce. I'm choosing which one I want. Well, no, not the best. Well, not the best lettuce. The lettuce that is going to be the correct size for my sandwich. Do you think it is a salad bar? Yeah. Oh, ah, wait, yeah. That's what you told me it was. I chose you. Ha ha. You do like being able to go and get lettuce, don't you? I've got out my onions into the bed. I've got my little miniature peas out in the green stock. It's here, folks. Spring is coming. Stuff's getting planted out and it's getting exciting. Onions. So a wee bit of a change. It's only half a bed of onions this year because I've moved my rhubarb into this bed and I've got strawberries in that bed. So it's that whole sort of making use of what space I've got and thinking carefully. Um, fabulously, they went in. There was no worries about separating out the roots at all. It was pretty easy, no dramas. One little bit that I did have to do the trick with the water to separate them. Other than that, they're in here a dream. So I've got a few rows of my Ilsa Craig brown onions and a few rows of my Red Baron red onions because I do like my red onions. But I'm really chuffed. This is when it all gets exciting, folks. No 
no, I didn't oversee the onions at all. Not nearly as interesting as I made it out to be, but all that lettuce in the greenhouse, I needed somewhere for it to go, because I sowed far too much lettuce, the same as with the onions. Um, and... Lettuce we get in. We have a green stalk that we've put flowers in, but we've shortened it because we didn't want it to block our view of the bottom of the garden, but we wanted pretty flowers. So this was kind of leftovers and I thought, why not? I'll just use it to put the lettuce in. Uh, it works brilliantly. Uh, there is no bottom for it. I don't have a base, so it's just on some sleepers. But uh, this is now affectionately known as the green stump. Thank you. Because... Oh, damn! The water the Little half pint peas. I've taken it off because... It's wet. I'm going to be putting the entire plants in and it's just going to be easier to work with like this. But... Little tiny, these are half pint peas. So they're small dwarf plants. They're only small plants. But... Cool thing about the green stock in this leaf system here, you can actually have three peas in each pocket, three plants. So that's cool. So these are my new root trainers. Actually, they're not that new. I had them last year, but I just had nothing to use them. But what I like about these ones, because I've been trying to get heavy duty or silicon versions of these, because the little plastic ones I had kept falling apart. These, are proper hard plastic, so I love them. But look, so if I can get three of these plants in each pocket, that is fabulous. Oh, actually, darling, could you grab me the fish blood and bone? I'll shove a wee bit of that in just to give these a boost. I should maybe have told her where it was. It's in the greenhouse, sorry. I had amended the soil in here, but this will just give things a wee boost to get them going. So, one. Now, if you've never used root trainers, the whole point of them is they're great for plants like peas, sweet peas, beans, all that type of thing. Plants that don't like the roots to be disturbed, but also that like to have a really nice long root run. So they're like super long pots. There we go. Three. Now I'm going to do this alternate. I'll explain why in a second, but I've got a reason for it. One. Now, do, do, do. I'm going to put two in this pocket because I've only got the four plants left. So. There we go, and then spin, scream if you want to go faster. So I did alternates, so I've got three pockets with little pea plants in them. And three pockets, I'm going to sow seeds in. Now, you can actually soak your peas um, just overnight and they will germinate a lot faster. I haven't been organised enough to do that. Ah well. But... <laughs> Let's 
do this then. So, one, put one over there, two, and one here, three, and I'll give them a really good soak. And same here, one. Now that's the thing. If you're sowing seeds in your green stock, remember it's like any time you sow seeds, you need to make sure you keep that soil moist so the seeds will germinate. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. A wee water to settle the plants in and a really good soak of the pockets with the actual peas sown in them. And we'll get the lid back on and that's a tier of peas. Oh no. Try not to drop a pea. Because they're so small. There we go. There we go, one tier of peas. It is the beginning of things. This one will be my little broccoli. This one will be my beans. No, it won't, I'm lying. This one will be my tomatoes, my beans and my broccoli. That's how it's gonna work. I had actually hoped to end the video here with the fire pit going, making s'mores on a lovely sunny evening. Alas, that's not to be because this is Scotland and it's spring, otherwise known as mud season. But this is a wee thing we did that isn't a big deal at all. We spoke about how we were wanting to upgrade the chilutery a little bit. We weren't meaning to make it into anything fancy. For us, all we wanted was a little bit more space. So it started when we actually chopped that bed down in size. So that's where the tomatoes will go. It doesn't need to be really wide for my tomatoes. So we stole back half that width. And that just gave us a bit more space here. So what we did was, this was all these orange stones, or here we call them chuckies. But we replaced this whole bit at the back and this bit here and just added in two more rows of these paving slabs and it just gives us so much more space here. The chairs feel a bit more stable because they're not on all those stones and we're hoping this is going to be a lovely little spot for us over summer if we get some nice weather. We're going to add in some nice twinkly lights, get a bit of a shade canopy for when it's hot. That's the plan. Okay, it's on a rush today and going to have to go and do all the other jobs that need done before the next storm comes in. So that's what's next. So um, what is it you're doing? Uh, I'm making a mess. Was I not meant to make a mess? Making sawdust. Pretty. No, I am making an oak frame for the stained glass panel that I made. Uh, um, stained glass? Yes. My skills are multiple. So, um, the weather keeps raining, winding, stopping us, interfering, but you finished your frame for your stained glass. Look at that. Hurrah. Look at um, mine's is finished, but I need to make a frame, which yeah. is what we're trying to get done with this weather. So um, we'll just say we need to go and try and get this done and we'll see you next week. See you folks. Yeah.